All right, guys, we're going to talk through the next uh, six week training cycle. Um, we've got Milo, who is uh, taking charge of the CrossFit programming and the Metacon stuff. And um, we've got Al, who's going to take you through the, the weightlifting club, and I'm going to take you through the structural strength stuff. I'm going to explain how it all fits together um, and how each class um, works with the rest of the program. So I'll let Milo start off. Cool. Um, so the main focus of the whole cycle is going to be a strength and a power piece. Um, so the day to the cycle is probably going to be the most important part for most people. The testing week is going to stay the same as it is with McCoy's uh, one that he's already We're going to change some of it just so it's relevant for the stuff that we're going to be going over. And that's going to be on the 9th of October. Um, 16th of October is when we're going to start the new cycle. And the key test that we're going to go over relative to the new cycle, not on the just doing that, is going to be like it's going to be a strength main focus. So we're going to go through your batch squat, five rep max, we're going to go through your strict press, five rep max, deadlift, five rep max, and then pull up and chin ups. It's just going to be max reps depending on you, so that's going to vary from person to person. If you haven't got them, that's both pull up and chin up, or either or, we've got stuff that we're going to give you as well that you're going to do in classes as accessory work on those days when those people are doing pull up work. So, and then hopefully at the end of the six week cycle, you're a little bit closer, or fingers crossed, you've actually got one as well, which would be amazing. Um, so, clearly, as you can see, like I already said, the main focus on that testing week for that next cycle is going to be the strength and the power stuff. So, when it comes to the actual uh, program itself, for that six week period, we're going to be squatting heavy twice a week. It's going to vary from day to day, which we will upload the template. And don't worry if you can't see all this, we're going to put a picture of this up as well. Um, but it's going to be squatting twice a week, you're going to deadlift heavy once a week, probably with another lighter one in some form of shorter workout as well, so maybe potentially room for twice. Um, pressing some variations, so we're going to do some seated presses, we're going to do some bench presses, we're going to do different variations of it, it's going to be twice a week as well, and then every day there's a short accessory workout which is going to complement the strength that we've done, beam, squat, deadlift, all that kind of good stuff. The Wednesdays are going to be the new active recovery day slash skill work days, so we're going to keep that as we did um, with McCoy's ones where we were doing like the strongman stuff and the skill work and that kind of stuff, and they're going to alternate on each Wednesday. So the first Wednesday is just going to be purely muscle up focused, whether you've got them or you're working towards them, we can do some specific skills with you and you can keep working on it for that six week period. And the second Wednesday will be some strongman stuff again, just because we don't like to lift in heavy weight. Um, and they'll alternate every week. So one Wednesday will be the muscle ups, the second Wednesday will be the strongman, and then you'll go back to the muscle ups and we'll keep working around there. But again, just to reiterate the point, the main focus is going to be the strength and just the general force production in all of these lifts. So we're just trying to get all those numbers up. And again, it's going to vary from person to person. So for beginners, it's just going to be more about setting that foundation and then trying to build on those good lifts. So squatting, maybe you're not worried about quite the PBs quite so much, but fixing that form or just getting under that barbell and trying to lift heavier loads, keeping everything where it should be in form is always going to trump function. Um, intermediates and advanced, obviously you're trying to build up those numbers. That being said, if you've got any problems, this is going to be the perfect opportunity to find and fix those problems. I know I've got stuff that I need to work on, like deadlift, for example. So I'm going to use that six week period to try and focus on those small things. And again, maybe not worry about the PB of that deadlift, but maybe try and make it a little bit better so I can PB it down the line rather than just worry about the six weeks. So, um, I'll hand over to Al as well because he's going to have some specific stuff that you guys can do in the weightlifting club. So, take that. Okay, so the weightlifting club is going to be on a Wednesday night and a Sunday morning. Uh, it's going to alternate between clean and jerks uh, on one day, and it's going to be snatches and back squats on the other day. So if the cleans were on Wednesday one week, they will be on Sunday the week after, just to make sure that everyone has an opportunity um, to do each one of the lifts. Um, generally week one to three is gonna be made up of complexes, more technique work. Uh, so for the beginners, it's a good time to nail down that technique, get uh, familiar with the movement. And obviously for those of you who are a little bit better, again, we can always get better on those positions. Um, generally, it's gonna be higher volume uh, to get the reps in, somewhere generally between about 70 to 80%. The intensity is gonna be quite low. Um, and obviously, as we progress to week four to week six, 
we're going to start going down to singles, doubles, and the, obviously the weights are going to increase and the volume is going to go down. Uh, so even though this is six weeks, there will be a week after that just for maintenance to make sure that you are just maintaining any kind of gains that you've actually uh, made throughout the cycle. Uh, this is a big part, so the assistants will focus on your pulling and obviously the positions in your pulling uh, and your upper back. Um, so that's going to be the general prescription unless you have any individual issues or which the coach of the day um, can prescribe you something if there is a real individual issue that needs <coughs> addressing. Um, the main thing is that it's going to be consistent. Um, and progressive. All right, so we need to be doing the same things as you get stimulus to make that change and for you to get better. All right, and that's pretty much sums it up. All right, I'll pass you over to. Cool. Um, so Tuesdays and Thursdays, 6 p.m. is the structural strength class. Um, so for you guys that are unfamiliar with this class, a few benefits to it. Um, primarily is maintaining structural balance. So like Milo talks about down here about finding and fixing problems. If you have strength imbalances, whether it's side to side, um, upper body to lower body, front to back, that kind of thing, this is a great class to try and um, iron out those weaknesses. It's really good for developing some basic movement patterns as well. There's a lot of pushing and pulling movements, a lot of squatting and hinging movements. So a good chance to develop those movement patterns. And strength accessory work, so it's gonna complement a lot of what you're gonna do in the CrossFit classes and also in the weightlifting club. Um, each day, so each Tuesday and each Thursday, you're going to have some upper body pushing and pulling and then you're going to have a lower body squat or hinging movement and a lot of the time this is going to be unilateral, so single arm, single leg, that kind of thing. We're also going to include some isolation work, which means buys and tries and some lap work as well. So these are common weaknesses that we find in a lot of the athletes, like Al was saying, particularly upper back uh, is a big area and then more so females with the biceps and the triceps. So if you're working on some of that basic gymnastic movements, things like push-ups, pull-ups, even into handstand push-ups and muscle-ups, this work can be really important for that as well. And we'll also include some midline work. For beginners, um, as we mentioned, it's a really good class if you're learning some of the basic movement patterns and looking to build strength in those basic movement patterns. Yeah, that's both barbell and gymnastics work as well. And then for the more intermediate advanced athletes, um, it's a chance to get some extra volume if you think you need it, um, on top of the regular classes, on top of the weightlifting club. Um, so it's really assistance work for those main lifts. You can start to target those weaknesses, again that Milo mentioned in there and that Al talks about in the weightlifting club stuff, um, and start to balance out your structure. And make sure that you're gonna avoid injury in the future. Um, last bit is Metcon for my one. Um, yeah, the very last piece, guys. It's going to be the Metcon, like we've been saying already. Obviously, the main focus on everyone's program for the next cycle is going to be strength. Obviously, that might not be on everyone's goal and hit list at the moment. So, if you are that person who's looking at some long stuff, maybe you're looking at triathlon or marathons or whatever, and you want to keep ticking over, and the strength isn't quite such a big focus at the moment, then you can go to the Metcon classes, which is going to be on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 7 pm. And they're just going to be longer, lower intensity workouts, less to kind of think about those of weights that aren't going to crush you and that kind of stuff. And you can just move for a longer period of time. So there's going to be some longer AMRAPs in there, or just longer chippers and that kind of stuff, some team workouts. And it's just going to focus on that aerobic base, odd objects, just so we can use those sandbags and that kind of good stuff that everyone likes as well. And it's going to be really basic movement patterns, so you're not going to have to think about it too much or get super tight or it's not going to be over complicated just stuff that you guys can get yourselves moving for a longer period of time with a coach there to help you out if needed. Um, as you can see we've all got our own thing that we're working on so if you do have further questions about the CrossFit program, the weightlifting program, the structural strength or the Metcon then see us and then we can take you through it if needed. We will put up like I said a picture of each and each program going up as well so you can have a look at it a bit more detail and if you do that, get questions after that then Said, I'm serious, we can go from that. Fitness 